Welcome to part two of Painting Waterfalls in Oils. I'm artist Larry Seiler. If you recall from part one, I explained the pigment strategy called pigment soup. This was common practice in the mid 1900s. Uh, often taught and used by master painters such as Edgar Payne and Emil Gruppi. And the strategy is to pull a common color over and mix it and influence each of your colors, creating a, any emotive or effective mood, or in my case, using a neutral, uh, giving a lot of control, especially where subtleties are, are concerned and especially where you're looking at a painting to be dominated uh, and the mood driven by value such as this one is. I begin working some influence of the indirect light which is that area of your scene that the sun does not directly touch and indirect light allows the light and color of the influence directly above to play into the area in which this case I'm suggesting uh, there might well be a bluish sky directly above and thus can be felt in the shadows. I'm ready now to suggest some presence of the darks, the rocks in the water. I will also use some lighter values to suggest the foam and uh, the disturbance of the water that's moving along the surface. And I'll be careful to allow hints of the color that I laid down in a previous session to show through. And I'm going to let the uh, lighter color just kind of sit on top of the surface, much the way that foam actually would. Take special note here that uh, although it's an intuitive uh, action on my part, my brushwork itself tends to follow uh, horizontal strokes or uh, the actual movement. Uh, I'm actually trying to feel out how the water moves here and my strokes will imitate that feeling. Back to the water, and once again, uh, lighter values can't read right if our darker values are not picked up, and also give presence to the rocks letting their place be known in the water. Once again, my strokes intuitively follow the flow of the water. Lighter values of uh, water, suggestive foam, uh, disturbance are now laid down over previous undercoloring, uh, helps to suggest movement. Once again, it's back to the main falls. I'm going to pick up on the highlights, and then I'll squint my eyes, compare and contrast, make sure I'm not over or understating something. I'm going to paint a bit of uh, color now into this area of the water to suggest uh, rocks and structure that are beneath and uh, different colors and values to suggest the effects of indirect light as well as the source of light itself. While reworking an area it's very important to uh, leave it feeling fresh and spontaneous as if it hadn't been reworked. Shadow passages should be thin, areas struck by light want to be thicker, a little bit more impasto. Uh, every stroke should look like it's been intended. Now I'm going to very carefully and judiciously apply uh, little touches of, uh, of white and glare with my brush. Careful not to uh, overdo it. Uh, overstatement uh, removes the effect. Finishing up now is just a matter of uh, Taking inventory once again, seeing how everything is working together, all the different visual voices you've put down, uh, softening one thing, picking up another, 
um, playing things down, cooling or warming something, uh, making a, a, a lighter mark darker or, or in a darker area that should be lighter later. Um, and it's like a song, you know, you gotta, you've got to work at uh, one song, one harmony uh, to be heard. It's been said that it takes two people to do a really fine painting. One, the artist, to do the work. And the second, to stand behind with a large mallet prepared to hit him over the head before he ruins it. I guess there's a lot of truth to that. And it's better that something is uh, held in reserve so that it can be stated well than overstated. Thank you for hanging in there with me in part one and two of this demonstration. I'll invite you to keep an eye on my website at uh, larryseiler.blogspot.com or you could search engine uh, my name and bring up my larger art site as well. I will be offering uh, this painting and other future painting demonstrations uh, as segments with more in-depth instruction and I invite you to keep an eye on that development.